I recently discovered a new website full of unique dies, some of which are interactive, and interactive dies are my favorite kind of dies. In this video, I am sharing some Valentine and love cards that I made with new dies from Creelis out of the Netherlands. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and I had so much fun designing the love cards I am sharing in this video. In the description box is a link to another video I shared recently making never-ending cards using a die from Creelis. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I think I am. I've ordered twice from them so far and each time the shipping and die cost costs were very reasonable and I received my order in just over a week. Here are the Valentines and love cards I made with these dies. The first card that I made is, was made with the squash fold die set. And that is what that looks like. And it is um, very easy to use. Um, this is a Valentine for Send a Smile for Kids, which is my charitable blog that we collect cards for kids in um, children's hospitals. And it was supposed to be a love or Valentine card. And kids love interactive cards. So it says Happy Heart Day. And when you open it up, the inside pops out and I have love you and a, a dragon from Karen Berniston so I think the kids would love that um, the die set uh, makes making that pop up so easy um, this square um, with the the die as it is with the triangles there just cuts and scores this and then you put a little adhesive here and here and you have your pop-up. It's that easy. And then these stitched dies are for decorating it. So um, I think I love the look of stitched dies and you can see they're stitching on all the triangles and the um, squares. So um, that is a very easy and fun interactive card from a die from Creelys. Um, this is another die set that I purchased from them, and it's called Patchworks. It's the circle one. Again, all sorts of stitching on there, um, and it looks like a puzzle when you put it back together. Um, I chose circle shapes for my cards, but you don't need to. I saw one that was very cool that was more in a square, and then this was cut out of the center. Um, the outside piece just cuts the stitched cent uh, square circle and then the inside pieces cut these like puzzle pieces and then you put them back together um, very easy to do all very cool stitching on this one I just used a designer paper that was Valentine um, and then on the inside I cut another circle with more of that paper um, for a cute Valentine um, I love this card that I created um, I used transparencies from Let's Create on a sparkly background. Um, in the uh, description box is a link to a video showing many ways to use these transparencies. The ones that I used for this card are called Puppy Love and La Love Actually. And all the details on all these cards will be on my blog, and links are in the description. But um, you can see that the you can see through the transparencies and see that sparkly um, look from the in the back and then on the inside I use this cute puppy um, and a happy anniversary die um, from Tonic Studios. This is the card that I'm going to show you how to make in this video. Um, I love pop-up cards in a box and I've made them without a die before but the process was not easy and there was no way um, to create like these pretty scalloped um, curved edges like you get on this die. Now I've seen dies on the market um, that make a smaller card in the box. I received this one for a gift and it was gorgeous and it does have the fun um, edges on these but personally I personally like the larger size um, better and so I did not buy a die um, for the smaller card in the box but when I saw this size on the Creelys um, website I was like I have to get that so these are the products that I used to make this card this is the Creelys um, card in a box die set so you get the the main piece and then you get the rounded um, edge uh, die to decorate 
the sides and then you get the rectangle die to um, cut these pieces with and I'll show you all that. Um, I have also used um, Tonic Studios uh, Mirror Card, the Opera Red color and um, I've used uh, the Dancer's Die from Diversions, um, this pretty um, heart, floral heart from Elizabeth Crafts, um, this sprinkle tra heart sprinkle trail, and the striped heart are from Simon Says Stamp, and the Mr. and Mrs. and the Love You um, that is here um, is from Honey Bee Stamps. Oh, and the Forever is from Stamp Lorations. So, um, of course, I love to use my dies. Now, um, I created this one um, as a valentine for my husband, and um, we love to dance, and obviously love you forever. And then on the back, um, I signed it and put a couple more hearts. So I only needed um, one valentine for my one husband. Um, so I decided to, the one I'm going to make in the video is going to be a wedding card. Um, I have cut the pieces and done all the die cutting in advance so that you don't have to watch me do that. Um, as I showed you on the die, um, you get this main piece and you're going to cut that out four times. I chose a thicker uh, cardstock, 110 pound um, pink for my card. Um, I'm sure another cardstock white would be fine, but I decided to make it nice and sturdy. Um, in the video, she shows um, cutting out six actually. So you cut out four for the sides, and then she cut out two more complete um, ones of those. And then she took that top part and folded it down and uh, taped it down. But I found that when I did it that way, especially with the thicker cardstock, um, I could not fold it to mail. So the point of this card in a box is that you need to fold it flat and then mail it um, or give it um, in an envelope. So I chose to cut this part off of these two pieces, which is going to be for the flaps on the inside. And um, not fold them down, just cut it off. And I'll show you how I put that together in a minute. Um, you're going to cut um, four of the rectangular pieces to decorate the sides of the box. So I have the hearts and then I have a white one on the back to sign the card. So that's the back and then these are the sides. Now um, there are, each one of those has two um, flaps on them. And um, again there's a video online that she shows how to do this. Um, she uh, folds that down and attaches it. So I've done that on three of these. Uh, to save a little time, but you take, you use good solid, or, you know, good strong score tape, and you fold that side down. So now you have these four that are going to fit together. Um, I have put um, one quarter inch score tape on these sides, and I did decided not to tear it, but to cut it um, at an angle so that we have good, um, good putting these boxes together. So I am going to um, do that now and um, I'll just show you how I line them up. And of course you don't you don't want to just put it down you want to make sure it's lined up before you push it down otherwise that score tape will start um, will attach before you're ready. And then you're going to take the fourth one and finish putting the box together. And I like to just lay it flat and then put those together. So our box is 
created. The back is here, of course. So now we're going to fold the front and the two sides down. And the back part stays up. So you have three pretty scalloped sides and the back. And um, now I'm going to take these two pieces um, that I have created with that die also, but just trimmed off the um, top part. And those are going to be the tabs that are going to go in there. Now I like to mark... Um, you, you could eyeball it. You need a third and a third to put these in, okay? But I like them to be straight, and if I just eyeballed it, I'm just not comfortable with that. So I um, decided to do um, little ticks at three quarters and at one and three quarters. So you can see that that's about a third and a third. It's not going to be exact, but it's about a third and a third. So um, it's hard to do from this side, but I'm going to do three quarters and then one and three quarters and then mark it. And then what I like to do and it isn't easy I mean this might be the hardest part of making this card I take the tape off of one side not both um, if you take the tape the cover of the tape off both sides um, and you start to attach it it's it, it's probably going to attach the other side where you don't want it so line it up with that tick mark and just press it down and then remove the cover from the other side and then line that one up and get in there with your fingers and press that down okay and so we'll repeat that process we're going to take the tape cover off the one side slide it in Get it lined up with that tick mark that we made, and then press it down. Remove the tape cover on the other side. And line it up and press it down. So now we just need to decorate it. Um, I have die cut the three pieces here um, out of that pretty tonic um, mirror card. And on this one I'm saying Mr. and Mrs. Um, instead of love you um, as this is for a wedding card. I really like this, the negative of that striped heart with the pretty mirror card against the pink. Oops, I should have erased those marks. And I know you probably can't see them, but I can, so I'm going to. So I'm going to erase the tick marks that I made. And here's another pretty heart trail using a die. As you know, I am addicted to dies. And then I've chosen this super very pretty um, uh, floral heart from Elizabeth Crafts to put on the back of this. Um, card in a box.
and um, on the second um, place there um, I have chosen to use forever um, on a piece of acetate so if you wanted to you could have pieces of acetate coming this way and this way and this way and put a lot of different things um, I chose choose not to do that but I think it is pretty to have something coming up that is that is just kind of floating there so um, I die cut forever um, out of silver um, mirror card and I like to put a piece of the thicker um, score tape on the back um, it um, mirror card does not like you to put glue on it and if you have mirror card on mirror card and try to glue that together it would be messy so um, I chose to use the a score card on the back it just made it kind of a score tape on the back and made it kind of a sticker um, and um, so the forever is ready to go and then I just put a piece of um, score tape on the acetate piece that I cut and I'm gonna stick that in here and have that kind of floating there which is kind of cool and then I have the um, dancing couple um, that I'm just gonna attach with some um, glue dots on their bottom parts and um, our wedding version of the um, card in a box is complete. Um, of course, again, you could add many more layers in there if you want. How about some hearts coming up with the name of the happy couple? The card in a box die from Creoles made making this card so simple, and I know whoever, whoever I give it to is going to love it. If you visit their website and order any of their dies after watching this video, please mention it in the comments when you order that you are there because of my video. Thanks for watching, subscribing, sharing, and thanks too for, sh for helping me share the joy of creativity.